So now we're going to put the grommets and the wheels onto the car. Alright, so to do that we need to open up a new assembly. So I've clicked new. Okay, we need to make sure we're in metric. Okay, we're going to come down to assembly here and want to go to standard millimeter dot IAM and double click on that. Okay, so now we need to place our car into the file here. So I'm going to go to place. All right, you need to find your car. For you guys, it'll be in your home drive. Um, for me, it'll be saved somewhere else. Okay, so I've just placed that one in there. Okay, as you can see, that's the car that I've made. Okay, so, so what you can do, you can right click on it and go grounded. And that means your car is not going to move anymore. It's going to stay where it is. Okay, I'm just going to get it up like that. Okay, now I'm going to go to place again. And for you guys, you need to go to your R drive, then you need to go to Steam and STEM, and then you'll need to go um, to your year level and then open up the files through there. Um, for me, on my computer here, I have to go onto my desktop. Okay, I'm just going to open up these parts here. So one of them should be called an axle grommet. Okay, it should look like that. And open that up. And we need four of these, so one, two, three, and four. I'm just going to go right click, OK. All right, now what I need to do is I need to get a constrain. OK, and I'm going to look for the axis line that goes through. Can you see how that's going through the hole? Click on that. And then the axis line that goes through our axle hole there, and click on that. Right, I'm going to press OK. Now if I grab that, okay, as you can see it's running along that axis there. Now if I put it on this side it will be perfect. On this side here it's facing the wrong way. So I just need to go and right click on this and go down to free rotate. Okay, now I can rotate it around so it's facing the right way. And then just go right click, okay. Alright, I'm going to go to constraint again. And I'm going to click on this surface. I'm going to rotate it around using free orbit. Right click, OK. And I want to select that face there. OK. And if I rotate it back around. OK, you see how that's joined up now? OK, that's what you want. OK, and then once that's done, just press OK. Right, I'm going to do this quickly to the others as well. So just go into constrain, find the axis line that goes through the hole. Okay, same as that one. Right click, okay. Slide that one out. All right, then again, right click, free rotate. Right, get it so it's facing the right way. Then it's constrain that surface to that one there. Okay, it's just one left, left, sorry, one left now. Okay, just constrain. Oh, it's the same process for every single one. Okay. 
Okay, so that's all my grommets done. All right, so what you can do now is you want to put your wheels in. All right, same process, go to place, find your wheel. So the wide ones go at the back and the narrow ones go at the front of the car. So we'll do the wide ones first. Okay, so at the back and at the back. All right, so we're going to go to constrain. And once again, we want to find the axis line that goes through the wheel. Click on that. And then the axis line that goes through the hole here. Like that. Right click. OK. Now that's facing the right way. But we just need to constrain that up against to the car there. All right, so I'm just going to bring it out a little bit. Go to constrain. I'm going to click on that face of the grommet there. Okay, rotate the car around so I can see the wheel. Now it's quite hard to see because it's very dark. However, can you see that outside surface there? Okay, that's the whole cylinder. That's the front. Okay, and this is the back. So we want the back and we want that surface there. And then press OK. Now with your wheels, they should be on like that and it shouldn't be clashing with the side pod or even the, the back there okay and so far that looks quite good I'm just going to go to top view yep you can see it's not clashing with the side pod or the back okay so the same process with the other side here I'll quickly do that alright the axis line And the axis line down here as well. Now that one is facing the wrong way, so remember we just go right click, free rotate. I'm going to rotate that one around. Constrain. So that surface there. And then we want that outside surface there. All right, that's the back two done. So remember for the front two, I'm going to go open, oh sorry, place. I'm going to find the narrow wheel. Open. So one there and one there. Constrain. Axis line, axis line, oops, sorry, sorry, cancel that one, so I'm looking for that face there, and then rotate it around, Find that face. Okay. okay. All right, same as this side. That face. Actually, no, sorry. We need to do the axis line first. That axis and that one. Okay, now we need to find those faces. So that face, rotate it around. And that face there. Now both of your wheels should be black. I'm not sure why these have turned grey. However, it doesn't really matter. It's still the same process. Okay, so there you go. There's all your wheels with your grommets. Okay, now it's up to you to go through and start fixing your car. Okay, so you can start putting fillets on these edges. You can change the shape of it. You could make the nose of the car here. You could make that longer, shorter. You could change the shape of the rear wings, the front wings. Um, obviously, make this a bit more aerodynamic. Okay, it's completely up to you how you want to start fixing the car. Uh, so basically, if you want to do that from the um, assembly here, just double click on your car. See how it lights up? Okay, double click on it. All right, and now you can start editing it.
Okay, so for example, if I wanted to put some fillets on, just go to 3D model. I'm going to go to fillet. Okay, and I can go through and start selecting those edges that I want to start rounding over. Okay, if you want to make them bigger, you can just change the number. So I'm going to change that maybe to three millimeters. Press OK. And see how that's all nice and rounded off. Okay, so you could do that for the rest of the car. Um, there's all sorts of things that you can do with this. All right, so it's really up to you and your group and you have to work out how you want to um, change your car. Obviously, thinking about aerodynamics and obviously how to make that car go as fast as possible.